Hey guys, Jed here. So today let's talk about body alignment in snowboarding and how making sure we have the right alignment will mean more powerful snowboard turns for you and less difficulty in turning and you'll be able to find that your snowboard responds to your movements and you don't struggle with trying to make that quick turn and it helps you ride tree runs where you have to do those tight little quick turns and body alignment is basically how you get powerful strong turns on your snowboard and get your snowboard to do what you want it to do basically so a lot of people struggle during those beginner to intermediate stages where they're trying to turn your snowboard but your snowboard doesn't listen to them and today let's talk about how to fix that and basically it comes down to body alignment so you want your whole body to be turning together so let's say if i want to turn right so i'm turning right but i'm looking downhill like this, right? So I'm looking down, but my body's turning right. So what's happening? What's happening is my body's trying to turn right, but my head is looking this way and it's fighting against the turn. So even though I want to turn this way, I'm looking that way and I'm not putting all my power into the turn. So what you want to do with body alignment is make sure your whole body is turning in unison. And that basically means when I turn right, I turn right one step after the other. So if I want to turn right, I look right, then my shoulders turn right, then my body turns right, and my hips turn right, and my knees turn right, and basically everything turns right one after the other. So I don't have anything fighting against the turn, and that's a huge, huge issue people have. So anytime you turn, you want to have everything aligned up. So if you want to turn left, you look left, your shoulders turn left, your hips turn left, your knees turn left, one after the other. The bigger the delay between your body responding to each step. So let's say if I want to turn left and I look left and there's a big pause and then my body starts turning left, that's not good. You want your alignment to be in order. So the more pause you have between each step, the more it's going to slow down your turns. And that's okay if you're trying to do a slow turn. But just saying, if you want fast, responsive, smooth, powerful turns and quick turns, especially for places like tree runs where you only have a split second to turn left or right, you need to get your whole body turning together. So don't leave parts of your body behind. So if you turn right, don't look right and then have your lower body pointing left or don't look left and have your body turning right. You want everything turning together. So one of the ways we do these as instructors when we're teaching snowboard students is we teach them top down turning or bottom up turning. Depending on where you learn snowboarding and who's your instructor, some will teach you to turn starting with your ankles, knees, hips, then shoulders and head. So that means if you want to turn right, you turn your legs, then you turn your hips, and then your shoulders, then your head. Or if you're from Canada or Canada land or whatever you want to call it, Canada, um, you turn from up down so there are different ways to teach this so that's why some people get confused when they say one instructor is teaching me to turn with my feet one's teaching me to turn with my head and shoulders it's just a different way to accomplish the same task of getting your body alignment and getting your whole body to turn together so no matter what you're going to end up powering through your turns with your whole knees your shoulders your body but it's just a different sequence to accomplish the same thing so and actually, once you get more advanced, you're going to be using both top up turning and bottom down turning anyway. You're going to mix and match for your situation. But when you're learning, it's not a big deal whether you're learning top to bottom or bottom to up turning. Just remember, the key is your turning in sync. So you want to turn left, then look left. Your shoulders follow, your hips follow, your knees follow, your feet follow, and your whole body powers through that turn. Don't try to turn left and make the mistake of, okay, I'm turning left and I'm going to look right while my body tries to turn left. Don't do that. You want your whole body turning into that turn until you are actually powering that whole turn in and you're not fighting against your own turn. So that's basically what good alignment means. And if you can get alignment figured out and you get the timing right so that you don't have huge gaps in your alignment. So you're not trying to turn right and then, so I'm looking right pausing, then my shoulders turn, pausing, then my hips turn, then my knees turn, then my feet turn. Don't do that. You want tight, quick alignment so your whole body turns in unison. Um, you, have you seen people do the wave? So uh, the wave like this. So notice like if I go like this, the rest of my hand follows really quickly, right? So if my finger goes up that way, my hand goes up that way, my whole arm goes up that way. 
So you want your body to react like that. You want your head to turn, then your shoulders are turning, then your hips are reacting, then your knees are reacting. So quick, successive turning of your whole body. That's what good alignment means and that's what quick and fast, powerful alignment of your body means. And that's what's really going to help you get those powerful snowboard turns. So anytime you're struggling with turning, look to your alignment, look to where maybe bits and pieces of your turns aren't working together because that's 99% of the time, that's the problem. If you're having problems with turning, it's usually your alignment. That's the first thing I look at. So hope that was informative today. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I just opened up my free snowboard training course here. If you're interested in learning some freestyle, or you want some butter trick tips where you can learn cool flat ground tricks like ollies, butter 180s, flat ground 180s, spin tricks and all of that, then join my free snowboard freestyle training course here. And I go way more in depth than on YouTube and then anything else I show you in-person examples of what the trick looks like. I break down everything step by step. So you, if you're interested in advancing your freestyle, join my training program here and I'll see you guys inside. All right, so take care and see you in the next video.